Okay, so here's a problem from the chapter 11 of uh, McMurray's 7th edition textbook, and we need to think carefully about the uh, stereochemistry, okay? We have this molecule S2-bromohexane, so draw out a hexane molecule. A hexane has uh, six carbons, so um, you could number them if you like. And then we're supposed to draw the S-stereochemistry here. Now, what I do is I just take a stab at it, I guess, and um, I see if I'm right or not. So we'll put the bromine on a wedge, and we'll put a hydrogen on a dash, and then what I need to do is uh, prioritize things. So bromine is definitely super heavy, hydrogen super light, um, this carbon and this carbon tie, but the carbon on carbon three is connected to more carbons. So that's number two, and this is number three. And if I look at this, it goes clockwise, which is R. And um, that's opposite of what I need. So then what I do is I just draw the enantiomer of that. The way to draw the enantiomer is to just swap out the wedges with the dashes. So we'll change the wedge dash to a dash bromine. And we'll change the dashed hydrogen to a wedge uh, hydrogen. And I don't need to... Um, compute or figure out anything. I know for sure that's going to be S now, okay? And now we're going to treat this with the acetate ion. It's a good idea to draw out the uh, chemical structure of that. Draw a little Lewis structure of this. The acetate um, looks like this, okay? There's a couple lone pairs on that oxygen and three lone pairs on this one here, okay? And what we're going to do is take this uh, nucleophile here and attack from the front of this molecule and then uh, kick off the bromine, which is going to go back to the back, okay? Far, far, far away, like behind us, okay? Behind the screen, if you're watching it on a screen, okay? And that's going to cause inversion. So what that's going to give us at the end of the reaction is a molecule that has the incoming nucleophile on a wedge. So it's going to be attached in this manner. I'll draw my lone pairs on all those groups there. And the hydrogen gets flipped around. It becomes, it goes from a wedge to a dash. And then off in the distance, you know, we have bromide or something. So we'll draw that in there. Okay. So that's the stereochemistry there. This is S and this is R. And um, you're welcome to number and prioritize things and verify that for yourself. But that's how you answer this problem here. Thanks for watching.